Organic Garden. I'm Eddie. Today I'm going to be doing the first video in a series called What's Cooking in the Garden. I'm going to post a video every Friday talking about a different plant that you can grow in your own garden. And then after you watch the video you can head over to my Facebook and check out a delicious healthy recipe that uses that plant. So for my first video I'm going to be talking about asparagus. Uh, it's a great plant. Uh, it's actually a perennial. If you treat it well, plant it right, you're going to get 15-20 years worth of harvests out of it. Uh, after the first or second year, it, your yields will actually start to increase uh, year after year. Most research shows that there's actually no need to wait two years after you harvest it. Uh, after the first year, you can start uh, harvesting. And in fact, harvesting after the first year uh, for seven days will actually increase production in future years uh, as compared to waiting two years. Asparagus grows best in deep, well-drained, sandy loom soils uh, with pH between 6.2 and 7.0. Asparagus beetles are the most common insect uh, affecting asparagus. The adults overwinter, emerging in the spring. Uh, cutting shoots off clean in the spring and replacing mulch can prevent beetles. Uh, if the beetles do appear in small patches, hand picking is uh, the best method to use. Uh, pyrethrins and neem are plant-based insecticides that are labeled to control asparagus beetles and are approved for organic production. Uh, I personally would use neem before I'd use the pyrethrins. Tomatoes and asparagus are good companion plants. Uh, tomatoes contain solanine that is toxic to asparagus beetles and asparagus deters nematodes that damage the tomatoes roots. Uh, so, you know, you can plant your tomatoes along uh, with your asparagus. Uh, a common disease is rust, which appears as orange, reddish, or brown spots on leaves and stems. You prevent by not crowding plants, uh, removing volunteers, removing ferns in fall, and li limiting overhead watering. Uh, purple spot disease appears as small black dots. Severe summer infections result, result in the premature uh, defoliation of the fern, which can reduce the following yields uh, up to 52% and it tends to occur following wet springs and is spread by rain and wind. Uh, you harvest asparagus by snapping uh, seven to nine inch spears with tight tips. A small stub left dries up and disintegrates. It can actually be helpful to leave the dead tops uh, over winter and then uh, in the spring remove the old tops by cutting or mowing them as low as possible before the new spears emerge. There are a lot of older varieties, uh, like the one I'm growing, uh, Martha Washington. Uh, they produce male and female flowers on separate plants. Uh, you'll get these little berries on the top and seeds will fall off the ground and germinate. This is actually what my asparagus looks like right now. Here are the little seed pod berry things that I was talking about. Give it a squeeze, you can see the seed inside of it here. Just little black seeds. actually do have different varieties out now. I believe Rutgers University uh, led the way to develop the all-male hybrids that yield three to four times more than the older varieties. Although I do prefer to grow heirlooms, so that's why I have the uh, Mary Washingtons or Martha Washingtons. Uh, but the uh, newer, higher yielding varieties uh, include a Jersey Giant, Jersey Knight, Jersey Prince, and Jersey King. Uh, there's about 40 calories in a cup of asparagus, 35% vitamin K, 25% vitamin A, 13% folates, 14% iron, 9% vitamin C, and 7.5% vitamin E. Uh, because of its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant nutrient Composition, asparagus is linked in research as a risk reducer for certain cancers. 
And you always uh, store asparagus dry and chill for no more than two days. Storing asparagus wet promotes bacterial growth. Now, um, that's about it for my talk on asparagus here. You can head on over to my Facebook page and get a recipe uh, for a five minute healthy sauteed asparagus. So don't forget to head on over there and check that out. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you all next time.